Maido. Hi there, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about charisma. Present O Master Shima Show. This is the fifth year for the Presentation Japan Series podcast. We are beaming around the world to you from sunny Minato Ku in Tokyo. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo, Japan, and the three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. My new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is now available on Amazon. Through this podcast, I want to help you become a better speaker who is clear, confident, persuasive, and highly influential with those around you. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentations Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. Every second Thursday, the Business of Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. This is episode number 267. Today, we are talking about how to be that charismatic presenter. This speaker has it all. You're sitting down the back of the room, yet you can sense their inner energy, confidence, surety of what they are saying. You feel they have charisma, that compelling attractiveness as a presenter. You want to be like that too. But how? Let's see how you can increase your presence and appeal as a speaker. What the audience won't see. You're doing is rehearsing on them. This sounds infinitely logical, yet so many speakers deliver their talk once. They are practicing on their live audience. Is this what professionals do? Of course not. Professionals walk on stage after they have given their talk many, many times in rehearsal. They have worked out the correct length. The high points, the cadence, the humor, and every small detail needed to make the talk a success. For feedback, they never ask, What do you think? Instead, they ask, What was good? And how could I make it better? They use video and audio review to improve. If they are traveling to make the talk, they know that with the lights out, a hotel room's windows become mirrors so that they can check their delivery. When you get to the venue, the speaker is already there and, in fact, has been there an hour earlier checking everything is ready. They get a sense of the room. They sit in the cheap seats and see how they will appear up on stage. They make sure their slide deck is loaded and working correctly. They know how to work the slide advancer correctly and have worked out the sound levels for the microphone. You never See them bashing the microphone and asking, Can you hear me down the back? They have told the venue crew to leave the lights up and not dim them down to suit the screen. While waiting for people to arrive, they have diplomatically instructed the MC to read their introduction exactly as it has been crafted to project their full personal brand. They are standing near the door as people arrive, introducing themselves and asking what attracted them to today's topic. They are working the room before the event kicks off. They give each person they engage 100% of their attention, 
listening quietly, never interrupting them, finishing their sentences, nor jumping in with their own clever comment. They are building tremendous goodwill with as many people in the audience as possible before they get anywhere near the stage. They remember your name and the main details of what you said. They are genuinely interested to meet you and find out what you are doing. They have demolished that invisible barrier between speaker and audience. They are perfectly dressed for the occasion. They look the part of success. Every detail has been thought through. They don't allow bright ties, puffy pocket chiefs or big scarves to compete with their face. They know their face is a million watt power source and they make it the main reference point for the audience rather than being dominated by the slides. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom, we do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Today's show is being sponsored by, on the 14th of December, we're doing the course previews. On the 16th, we're doing professional leadership series looking at the planning process. February the 2nd, 2022, we start the 12-week Dale Carnegie course. On the 3rd of February, we start the two-day high-impact presentations course. On the 8th of February, we start the four-day confident English course. That's done one day a week over four weeks. On the 14th of February, we start the seven-week leadership training for managers course. Check out our website at www.com. Dale, D-A-L-E hyphen Carnegie, C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E dot C-O dot J-P. Lots and lots of value for you there. Now, to do better in Japan, email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. You can buy best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery, that's the Bible for selling in Japan, and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. If you like learning by watching videos, there are over a thousand there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which is the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews for interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate Happens of industry on one topic leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV show. Don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. The MC calls them onto the stage after reciting their turbocharged credibility resume exactly as requested. They walk to the center of the stage and start immediately spending no time switching computers and loading their files. They have arranged for such pedestrian logistics to be handled by their support crew. They have purposely freed themselves up to absolutely nail the first two seconds impression window. They know that we live in the age of distraction and the era of cynicism. And all we have is two seconds for the audience to decide their first impression of us. They don't waste that opportunity. Their opening's a real grabber that cuts through all the competition for audience mind space. They reference a couple of the people they were speaking with earlier in the audience. Mary made a good point about Bill had a wonderful insight on today's topic. They are broadcasting everybody that we are all one unit today and there is no longer any space separating speaker and listener. They are projecting their key, their intrinsic energy, 
bouncing it off the rear walls, pumping out high energy to their audience. What they say is clear, concise, well-structured, supported by slides which are on point and zen-like in their clarity. The key message is crystal clear and their evidence is unassailable. They're engaging each individual audience member in six seconds of eye contact, creating the feeling that the speaker is talking directly to them and no one else. What they say and how they say it is totally congruent. They finish the talk with their first close and smoothly transition to Q&A, stating how many minutes for questions. They paraphrase the questions so that everyone in the audience can hear what was asked. As they answer, they give the questioner six seconds of eye contact and then work the room with six seconds of eye contact each for the other members of the audience. They don't try and duck difficult questions. They mention, I don't know, but I will find out and get back to you. Who has the next question? At the end of question time, they seize back the initiative to focus on their key message. They don't allow the talk to finish with a question, which may be totally off topic. They use their second close to repeat their key point and have that ringing in the ears of the audience as everyone departs the venue. They determine their final impression with the audience. They have organized their schedule to be able to invite audience members to swap business cards and chat after the talk. They are gracious and charming with everyone and cement their fan base for the next talk. They have it all. They are charismatic. Thank you for joining the Presentation Japan series. If you got value from today's show, spread the love around and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Immediately apply what you have learned today, use it, and go out there and become a presentations legend. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.